Ah, hi, it's Nick, the audiologist uh, from Oxford Hearing Centre. This uh, poor lady had been suffering with very poor hearing for two, three months. Uh, hadn't been able to use her hearing aid properly. And has had a history of some problems with her ears in the past. So I elected not to syringe her ears. Um, I'll warn you now that this is quite a long process. Uh, it's going to get quite gory halfway through. So sit back and watch this, but I'll warn you it does take a while. Uh, we're just slowly just removing, excavating some of this wax. It's, it's quite fresh, very fresh wax in fact. You can tell that by the colour. It's, it's a very clear yellowy colour. Very old wax is a very dark black colour. There's a lot of dry skin with this as well. Uh, so I'm just clearing away most of this day, fairly fresh debris from the first third of her ear canal. Just slowly, just removing bits at a time, just to be very, very careful that we're not putting too much pressure. If you don't know just how large this mass is at the moment, you'll notice there's some liquid mix with it. That's some medication from her GP and some olive oil mixed in there as well that she's tried to use herself. Uh, so you'll notice little bits of that sort of uh, have all trapped in the folds of the wax. It's not an infection, it's just literally um, medication and olive oil. Just removing a bit more of this now. And things are starting to become a bit more clear that this is a bit more serious than um, just wax. Absolutely large, huge amounts of uh, wax being removed all the time and if you can see in that top corner there there's that sort of white fluffy cotton wool looking appearance and that's the first warning signs that this is just a bit more serious than uh, ah, there we go a bit more serious than just wax that is not cotton wool by the way folks I don't think she's got a cotton wool bud stuck there this is a far more serious infection called otomycosis. It's a fungal infection. Sometimes known as Singapore ear because it's hot and humid conditions uh, that this seems more prevalent in. So we're just literally going to just completely remove all of this debris now. Just remove all the infection that's actually growing. The bacteria is actually just growing on the wax. You'll notice there's certain portions of it of the wax there that's got wax and the fungal infection sitting on top of it. I've got to say that I've actually condensed this video down for you. Um, it, it takes nearly 10, 11 minutes. The patient was absolutely fine. No discomfort whatsoever through the whole process. She was actually embarrassed by the amount of wax that I'm removing, but through no fault of her own. Uh, what I believe happened is, is that this infection, this otomycosis, this fungal infection, has obviously spurned her ear canal or the wax glands to produce more wax to try and protect itself and that's exactly what's happened and of course the trouble is it then renders any medication completely useless because it just gets completely swamped in the wax and not the areas there's even there a little bit you can see that little furry bit just the top left hand corner still on that little bit of wax right at the back there there's a good chance if we can remove most of this wax I want to try and get as much of this as possible so that it gives uh, the chance of any medication that she's going to have a good chance to work. And I can tell you by about now my uh, my hands are beginning to ache holding the camera and the instruments. 
my patient was very stoic she just sat there and was fascinated though embarrassed by the amount of wax that was coming out now that looks like uh, we're finally getting to the end now there's a little bit there just at the end there we go that's the main bulk has now been removed there's just a little bit left over um, just a few bits and pieces that I'm just going to tidy up just try and remove every little without making the patient's ear sore of course we don't want to actually make things worse but I have to say that it's, it's not too red I'm surprised it's not a lot redder than it was we're very lucky to pick this up this could have uh, caused us some very serious problems that could have spread quite quickly uh, and of course being buried in amongst that wax she'd have nobody have been any other wiser and that could have done quite a lot of damage to her eardrum and then her ear canal if it had been left for any great time would have caused her a lot of pain and discomfort as well you can see even on that little bit of wax there there's a little bit of the fungus just on the top of that so I'm just going to clean that all off now removes most of the wax there without causing any discomfort to the patient there's a few little bits and pieces that we're just going to clean but uh, I'm sure you'll agree absolutely amazing the amount of wax that we've removed from that and that's built up literally within two months so that's all nice and clear now Just leave that little bit there. I don't think if we removed any more. And these are just the huge bits and pieces that are removed out of the patients here. And hopefully, she'll make a full recovery.